Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to add student in UT scores from Google Sheets. I want that whenever a new row is added in my Google Sheets along with the details of a person, automatically the same person should be added in the form of a student in my UTeach account and the same student should also be enrolled for a particular course automatically in UTeach. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate Google Sheets with UTeach and to do the same we are going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now what we are going to do, we have Google Sheets in our trigger and you teach in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new row will be added in Google Sheets, automatically first the user will be created in you teach and after that the same student will be created or enrolled for a particular course. And to learn the entire process step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that whenever a new row will be added to this particular Google Sheet along with the details of the students, automatically by using the same details, a new student should be created for a particular course in UTeach. Okay, so let's start learning this process step by step. First of all, in order to create the workflow, we have to come on our browser and then we have to search for pabli.com slash connect. When we do this, we will come on the landing page of this software. Here we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it will take only two minutes also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks to explore this amazing software because i'm already an existing user therefore i'm clicking on sign in after coming on the all app section we can find all the products offered by pabli now to create this workflow we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and this will take us towards the dashboard of pabli connect so here we can find all the workflows which we create and to create a new workflow we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color so let's click on it and here we can find our dialog box is appeared in front of us which is asking us to provide this workflow a suitable name. So let's give it a name as create student in UT course from Google Sheets. So this is the objective of our workflow. So I have given this name. Now after giving the name let's click on create. And as we do that, we can find two windows will be open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the basic concepts or the basic principles on which the entire workflow of this automation runs. Here we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Because the trigger is the very first step of every workflow and it initiates the entire workflow. Therefore, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means action is the response towards the trigger. So whatever we will select in our trigger will initiate the entire workflow and the action will follow exactly what the trigger says. So let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we have to select our trigger application, which is Google Sheets. So let's select it. And in our trigger event, we will select new or updated spreadsheet row because we want that whenever a new row will be added in our Google Sheets, automatically the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect. So let's select it. And here we can find as we do that, a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions which we have to follow in order to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli. So how we are going to do that? First of all, we will copy this webhook URL from here and then I will tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So I will take you to the Google Sheets which I have prepared. So this is the Google Sheets which is named as UT Students PHP for Beginners. So this is the course name in which I want to enroll the students in UT. So this, so this sheet contains first name, last name, email and contact number. So we will integrate this particular worksheet with Pabli Connect. So for that we have to go on extensions and we have to go on add-ons. Then we will click on get add-ons and it will take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. Let's select it and we have to basically install Pabli Connect webhooks. So as I have already installed, so I will cross it and once again we will go on extensions and here we can find Pabli Connect webhooks option. So we have to select initial setup and this initial setup will enable us to integrate this Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So first of all, we have to paste the webhook URL here in this particular field. So let's paste it. And the next is trigger column. The trigger column is the last column in which the data is entered in the Google Sheet. Okay. So here in this sheet, we can find that D column is the last column in which the data is entered. So we have to enter D here. So we will enter capital D. Basically, the concept of trigger column says that whenever the data will be entered up till column D, then the response will be captured in Pabli Connect. Okay. So therefore, we have entered column D here. So let's click on send test. And here we can find that our test data is sent successfully. We will click on submit. 
across and here we will go on public connect and we can find that we have received the response here along with all the details which we have entered in google sheets first name last name email and the contact number so by using this response we are going to enroll a student for php for beginner course okay so let us move further towards our action step and in our action application we are going to select you teach okay let's select it and here in the action event we will select create student why because this student of which we have received the response is is not an existing student in you teach okay so we want that first of all it should be created in the form of a student and then we will enroll them for the course okay so our first action event will be create student and we will click on connect from the given options let's select add new connection and here we have to enter two details domain and api key so from where we are going to find both the details first of all we have to go on the setting sections and then under integrations we will find both the details in our uteach account so let us go on our uteach account so this is the core section of uteach now we will go on the dashboard and under that we can find in the left side settings option so let's select it and here we can find integrations so after coming on integrations page we can find several options so we have to click on this public connect tab as we do that we can find api key and domain is given over here so first of all let's copy the domain and we will paste it over here and then again we will go on uteach account and we will copy the api key paste it here okay click on save and our uteach account is successfully connected with public connect now we have to enter the details it is asking first of all the name so we will use the response which we have received from google sheets in order to map the data we will simply select our previous step that is google sheets and we can find the details are given over here so it is asking us for the name so we will map full name first name and the last name also okay so we have mapped the name and now we will map the email in the same manner so why we are mapping the details instead of entering them manually because we want that whenever a new response will be captured here in public connect automatically these fields should be replaced with a new data but if we will enter the data manually then it will become a static data and it will not change with every new response then the workflow will get stuck okay so in order to automate the entire process we use mapping and mapping is very important step of this automation workflow now because we have mapped the details let's click on save and send test request and here we can find that we have received the response along with the id of the student that means this person is added as a student in our uteach account so let's go on our uteach account and we will check we will go on dashboard and here from the user section we have to go on student section and yes we can find that a new student is created over here with the name as test student and the same email okay so now what we are going to do we will add one more action step here because we want to enroll this student in php for beginner course okay so we will add one more action step by clicking on the plus sign and in our action application we will again select you teach so we have selected the action application in our action event we will select this time add student to course okay click on connect and we will go with the existing connection only click on save and again our uteach account is connected with pabli connect so we have to enter two details here first of all the student email and then the course slug so we will map the email of the student and then we have to enter the course slug so what is this course slug so it is written that if your course url is this then your course name will be after the last dash that is six ways to give the right name to your online course brand so in the same way we will find our course slug from the course php for beginners okay so we will again go on you teach and then we will go on the course section okay so here php for beginner this is my course which we which i want to use in order to enroll the student so i will open it and after coming on the course we can find that url is given over here so in this url after the last dash the name of the course is given php for beginner so this is my course slug we will copy it and we will paste it over here okay done we will simply click on save and send test request and we have received the response along with the course id and the student id that means we have successfully enrolled this student in php for beginner course in uteach okay so let us go and check so again we will go on dashboard and under users we will go on students and here we will go on the student learning section of this student and we can find that this student is enrolled for php for beginner course 
okay so that means our workflow is perfectly successful now we have to do one more thing we have to go on our google sheets and then again after going on extensions we have to go on paply connect web books and this time instead of initial setup we have to select send on events so why we have done this because now after doing this as soon as a new data will be entered that is whenever a new row will be ent entered in this particular google sheet automatically the response will be keep on sending in public connect and by using the same data new students will be enrolled for php course okay so let us check for this i am going to once again enter sample details in the form of a new row in this sheet let us enter dummy user dummy545 at the rate pablitudes.com a random email and a random phone number so we have entered the details up to the trigger column now we will go and check whether a new user is created in you teach or not okay so we will refresh this page once and we can find that yes a new student is automatically created over here with the same name as dummy user and with the same email now we will go on the student learning section and we will find that yes it is also enrolled for the php for beginner course that means our workflow is perfectly successful now we will go back on public connect and we will summarize what we have done in this workflow so we have taken three steps here trigger and two actions in trigger we have taken google sheets and in action we have taken you teach and we have connected all of them by using paply connect in such a way that now whenever a new row will be added along with the details of a student in google sheets automatically first of all that student will be created in you teach and the same student will also be enrolled for a particular course in you teach okay so this is our full workflow and these are the steps which we have to follow in order to create this workflow so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Paply Connect. Now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support at the rate pably.com. If you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with Paply Connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.